Cameron Boyce from Disney Channel's Jesse and Descendants was an actor, dancer, humanitarian, and a beloved son and brother who lost his life to epilepsy just months ago. Cameron was central in our family and just at our core. Everything kind of spread out from him. The party didn't start until he got there. Cameron was athletic. He loved the Lakers and he loves music. We realized that he could dance when he was four. And he did ballet, hip hop, jazz, breaking. Not only could he dance, but there was this joy that emanated from him. The dancing was the beginning of everything for him. Yeah. Jesse! You ruined everything! Okay, people have got to stop saying that when I enter a room. When Cameron was first cast in Jesse, people would tell me, wow, that's your son? That's my favorite character on that show. So it was really life-changing for us. People were really drawn to him, and we used to call it the cutimus ray, because he would shoot him with the cutimus ray. Cameron had his first seizure when he was 16 and a half. It was in his sleep. It was a night when he had two friends sleeping over and they witnessed it. And about a year later, when he was 17, he had another seizure. And at that point, he was diagnosed with epilepsy. He only ever had five seizures in his life. We thought because he had it so infrequently that it wasn't gonna be debilitating because he always had them in his sleep. And the worst thing that would happen was he would bite his tongue and he would wake up with a headache. On July 5th, Cameron, Maya, my daughter, Libby and I went to dinner. We were sitting outside joking and laughing like we always do. It was just a really fun night. So dinner was over. I said, I love you, son. Love you, dad. So in the morning, I get a call from his roommate. And then he told me it was like all of a sudden I was like in a cloud. Like was just in a, like everything just went white. I'm just losing my mind in the parking lot. I tell my daughter, we're both screaming and crying, and I'm driving, I get on the freeway going the wrong way. I still didn't believe it. There was no way this was true. It was just a nightmare. When we pull up to his house, it was cop cars all over the place. Cameron died of SUDEP. He was sleeping, and he just never woke up. The first time I'd ever heard that term, was two months after Cameron passed when the medical examiner told me that's what he died of. I feel as though I'm in a tunnel. The tunnel will always be there. I will never be out of the tunnel. So if people say, you come out the other side, you do not come out the other side from this kind of a loss, ever. I'm not supposed to outlive my son. There's one picture in particular, his high school senior picture. That picture just rips me apart. There's something about the look on his face. <laughs> I can't walk past that picture. It's like he's looking through me. It's the only one in the house. It's like it, it almost like haunts me, but it's like, damn, why are you looking at me like that, Cameron? All the other ones are smiling, but this picture is like his eyes are piercing. And it's like so hard. Cameron was my sunshine. He loved us so deeply, and we loved him so deeply.